Welcome to the IBM Software as a Service demonstration series. In this series, we will demonstrate a set of architectural patterns exploiting features in IBM middleware to build software as a service solutions. In this series, there are seven demonstrations using the banking application that show how IBM middleware and configuration techniques can be used to solve key technical challenges for SaaS developers. Designing a multi-tenant data architecture requires a decision on the degree of data isolation among tenants. A SAS data architecture can range from isolated tenant databases to shared databases and even shared database schema. This demo focuses on a shared schema architecture and will show how the XML capabilities of DB2v9 simplify tenant data configuration in this type of environment. Two of the SAS challenges that will be addressed in this demo are 1. How can you use a shared database environment as opposed to an isolated database environment for supporting a multi-tenant data tier in a SaaS application? And 2. Within a shared database environment, how can you customize the database schema for one tenant without affecting other tenants? This picture represents the range of data tier architectural choices available in a SaaS application. We will compare the three in terms of the ease of configuration for the tenant data. Data security is another very important consideration, but will be covered in a future demo. On the left, we show an isolated environment called E1. Each tenant has their own database. E1 offers the most flexibility in terms of configuration as the tables are designed with custom columns to support the single tenant. In the middle, we show a shared database with separate schemas called E2. E2 offers a lesser degree of data isolation than E1. E2 offers the same ease of, ease of configurability as E1 by using custom columns. On the right, we show a shared schema environment called E3. It allows you to serve the largest number of tenants per database server. However, because multiple tenants share the same database tables, this approach has typically been viewed as the most difficult to configure, requiring the use of either name value pair columns or pre-allocated fields to satisfy unique tenant requirements. What we'll be illustrating in this demo is that by using the pure XML capabilities of DB2v9, the configuration complexity issue is removed as configuration using XML provides a comparable solution as using custom columns. This scenario will show how we shared the database schema across two tenant banks through the use of a bank ID column and an XML column in each of the database tables in the banking application. In this scenario, we have two banks hosted in a multi-tenant banking environment, Bank 1 and Bank 2. Each bank has its own virtual portal that is administered through the use of profiles which contain the service endpoints for their bank as well as configuration information and branding. Our focus is on the customer profile of both banks. Both banks will store their customer profile data in the same DB2 table using a bank ID column and an XML column. The XML contents of the two banks differ in that Bank 1 has an extra element for cell phone. The capability to store that data and designate XML columns as optional in the XSD allows us to use the same web service for updating that data for both banks, further simplifying the tenant data configuration. We begin by logging into the administrator portal of each bank to show that the customer management and customer query web services for both banks point to the same service endpoints. Here is the profile for Bank 1. Notice that the two services that manage the storing and accessing of the customer profile data are set here under Customer Management and Customer Query. Here is the profile for Bank 2. You can see that the service endpoints for Customer Management and Customer Query are set to the same values as in Bank 1. This shows that the same web service is being used to update the customer profile data for both banks. We now access the customer profile portlet for Bank 1. We select Customer 001001. Notice the profile elements that we store for Bank 1. This profile includes a cell phone number in addition to the home phone number. Let's access a customer profile record for Bank 2. We select Customer 002001. Notice the Customer Profile fields for this bank. There is only one phone number in this profile, the home phone. This is a view of the Customer Profile XSD that was defined for the banking application. 
Notice that the cell phone element has a specification of min occurs equal zero, max occurs equal one. This specification designates this field as optional. In our scenario, Bank 1 elected to use that field, Bank 2 did not. Now let's take a look at the data as it is stored in DB2. We use the DB2 Command Center to select the Customer Profile document for Customer 001001. Notice that there is a phone number and a cell phone number within the XML document. We execute the same query for Customer 002001. This XML document, which is stored in the same DB2 column as the previous example, does not have a cell phone number. In conclusion, we have demonstrated how the Pure XML capabilities in DB2v9 provide the ability to customize data for different tenants using a single shared XML column. This capability allows each bank tenant administrator to define their own data object structures while storing that data in a shared table and using common services to maintain that data. IBM has innovative resources and programs to help you manage change and become relevant in the software as a service market. Whether you're an ISV, system integrator, or reseller, we can provide education, support, and benefits to help you grow revenue and differentiate yourself. The first step will be to join the SaaS community. You will automatically be kept aware of new SaaS technical benefits and workshops and get the enablement help that you need to transform your application for delivery in the IBM software as a service model. Then. As a member of IBM SaaS community, you can register at the Virtual Innovation Center, VIC, where you will get personalized access to product support and education to help build your software as a service knowledge and skills. As an advanced level member of Partner World, you have the opportunity to gain access to additional marketing and sales support by qualifying for the software as a service specialty. For more information, visit our main site at www.ibm.com slash partnerworld slash sas.